Hey what up players, it's Warbots Tay up in his mug. Today we are unboxing the General of the Empire kit for Warhammer Fantasy. The Empire Faction. The last bastion against Nagash and the end of times bad guys. This kit you can build two figures, a standing a general of the Empire and also a mounted general of the Empire. So here are some ways you can build it on the back. And let's get started. So I'm going to show you the two sprues that come in the box. You also get four 20 millimeter square bases. So that's nice. You're only going to be using one for the figure, so you got an extra three. And you get a cavalry base for the horse. So uh, this is a fantastic kit. It's got it's packed full of stuff. I, after you're done building the two figures, you're going to be able to have lots of bits for your bits box, especially if you, um, because there's you know so much so much stuff. So here's the mounted body. And you can see here, I'm going to zoom in, you can see a little bit of the detail on the shields. One of these shields, the shield at the top has a that crow on it. That's fantastic. Even though it says Karl Franz or KF, it's uh, you could use that as a general of more. There's the detail of the head, three big feathers. And there's the shield, the other shield, with some embossing on it. There's a helmeted guy with a little bit of a laurel leaf around his helmet. And there's a gorget, an iron gorget to put on the figure. You know, there's some detail of the horse, you've got the twin tailed comet, the word Sigmar. Um, it looks like Karl Franz, Sigmar on that side. There's an old bearded man with an eye patch, so if you're gonna do a grizzled old man character. You got a baby griffin there, I think that's fantastic, that's a really cool little figure, baby griffin. Uh, there's uh, the double-handed hammer with a twin-tailed comet on it beautiful piece as well. And here you can see a uh, arm holding a dagger as well as the body of the standing figure. So here's the other sprue and it's got that awesome devil winged uh, Grim Reaper character. You've got this little clockwork angel and this cape or cloak. You've also got this other hand Sorry, the free hand for the, the double-handed hammer. Um, there is an arm holding a pistol, a hand holding a, a rune fang sword, and you can see the horse's head right there. And there is an arm holding up, I think that's a lance, and a mace. It's a beautiful sculpting on the mace. And yeah, there you go. So it's a great kit. And you only get two characters, but the amount of bits you get left over if you're an Empire collector this is definitely a kit you want. And here we're just going to show you a little bit of the instructions. Really easy to read. The, the kit itself is very simple because it's only two figures, so you don't really need the instructions. But if you're a new hobbyist or a new modeler and you're just, you know, you have no idea what to build, then uh, this instructions, these instructions can help you out. They'll show you what the options are, what goes where. It shows you the different heads you can use, the different arms, and yeah, I really like that that crow sitting on top of the shield and squarking like that. I think that's a fantastic idea of the sculptors. And these are all the standing guys. There's a ba battle banner bearer, battle standard bearer, so you can use that. And there's the uh, cape on the standing general again, and you've got this one. Or he's riding. I like that the horse was sculpted to be rearing up like that. It's a very heroic looking pose. And here's if you want to build either the general or the banner bearer. The banner, you top that, that Grim Reaper with the wings, you can also use that for 40k Dark Angels stuff. That would be easy enough to port over. And here on the back, it shows you different configurations. So you've got a lance and double-handed hammer guy, you've got a battle standard bearer, and the guy with the sword and a shield, and then uh, those two other ones, and then. All right, thanks for watching. Latest players.